Hi, my name is Wade Heller. I'm a biologist with the University of Hawaii. I'm part of the team of researchers studying rapid ohia death, and today we're going to collect a sample from this uh, dead ohia tree, uh, which we think may be infected with rapid ohia death. There are a few different ways to collect the sample, and there's different tools for each method. Before we get started, uh, we need to spray our tools with 70% uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, this will kill off any spores that were left over from the last sample we collected. We just spray the alcohol on our tools and let it dry and then we'll be ready to go. Alright, so using the, the drill method, uh, we're just going to, to drill a hole into the tree and collect the sawdust uh, as it comes out. We remember our eye protection. And we have a uh, clean Ziploc bag. You can use any Ziploc bag you might have laying around at home that's clean and never been used before for your lunch. So we're going to uh, drill into the tree about two inches. Just collect the sawdust in the bag uh, as you pull the drill out. See that sawdust is now in the bag. So we typically will uh, drill into the tree about four times uh, just to increase the, the likelihood of hitting a, an infected part of the tree. It doesn't really matter uh, how high or low you're drilling on the tree, as long as it's comfortable for you, if the tree's infected, you will likely uh, drill into an infected area. So one problem a lot of people have is that their tree is too big to, for them to collect a, a sample by felling the tree. And uh, a way to, to get around that is to use a hatchet just to uh, remove the bark and cut into the side of the tree to get the sample. Uh, so we just try to, try to peel off that bark carefully. In order to get a, a wood chip, we're going to put that into our clean Ziploc bag. Uh, seal it up and send it into the lab. Alright, so the third way we can collect a sample is to use a saw to either uh, cut down an entire tree if it's small enough to safely do so, or cut down a branch that's uh, easily accessible. Uh, we need to make sure that we're not uh, endangering ourselves, so uh, a, a branch or a tree that's about the size of your wrist is a, a good size to attempt this procedure on. So we're going to uh, cut down this branch and we're going to cut a disc off the end and that will be the sample we're going to send into the lab. So now we've cut the branch off the tree, we can get a look at the internal uh, discoloration looking for uh, signs of uh, rapid ohia death. So we're seeing some, some black discoloration around the margin here. Uh, there are some staining patterns that are indicative of rapid ohia death and can help us predict whether or not the sample is infected before we even get it back to the lab. Uh, but to collect this sample, we need to uh, cut a small disc off of the, the end of this, this cut branch and we'll put that in a Ziploc bag uh, to send in. <laughs> All right, so now we've collected our samples and we're ready to uh, pack them up to, to send them off to the lab for testing. So on your sample bags, you wanna be sure to uh, label them with your name, the date, the address or uh, GPS location where they were collected and uh, a way to contact you. So for samples collected on Hawaii Island, they can be mailed directly to uh, Lisa Keith and that's at the USDA Pacific Basin Agricultural Research Center, 64, Noello Street, Hilo, 96720. For any samples collected off Hawaii Island, they can be taken to your local plant quarantine branch and they will be forwarded to the lab for testing. <laughs> 